What's happening YouTube? Controls Freak here. So what you're looking at is a Automation Direct Seymour HMI. This is an EA9-T7CL-R. It's a 7 inch model. Um, these HMIs are some of the best I've ever worked with. I've used panel views, I've used bare, I've used about any you can think of, but the beauty of these, this is a $642 HMI, and this one's brand new. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through setting it up as if you just bought it and you're ready to get it going. And then we're going to do a little bit of programming, hook it to a couple, at least two PLCs at the same time, uh, mess around a little bit like that, just to kind of show you how it works. So as you can see, when you fire up, the first thing you're going to see is this calibration screen. I recommend getting you an ink pen with a stylus on the end of it. I can't really screen capture on an HMI, so we're actually going to do it like this, but I'm going to touch the screen, and it's going to pop up, and it's going to show us that little, that little plus sign. We're going to touch that. We're going to touch that. Now get these as close as you can, because this affects the accuracy of the screen until you do it again, and the closer you get up front, the better off you'll be. So there's our calibration settings. They're saved. It's going to load up and it's going to show you the Seymour default screen. It takes a second. Uh, while it's booting up, I'll tell you that uh, this thing has 64,000 colors. This model's 800 by 480 pixels. Uh, it's an analog resistive screen. 350 nits of brightness. Um, so there it is, no user program. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here and we're going to touch and hold the upper left hand corner. Just keep your finger on there and it pops up like that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get an IP address put in this thing so that it's ready to communicate with our other pieces of equipment. So we're going to hit setting, we're going to hit IP address, and we're going to put use the following IP address right there. We're going to go with 10.10.10.5 and down here we're going to go with 255, 255, 255 and we're going to hit OK. So now our IP address is set. We're going to go back to the main menu and we're going to hit exit. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to get in here and we're going to do a little programming and then uh, we'll dump a program in here and, and kind of show you how all that works. Let me get set up for screen grab and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so when you first open your Seymour software, this is what you're going to see. You can make a new project, you can read one from a disk if you've got one saved on your computer somewhere, or you can read one from the panel if you've got an HMI you need to pull the program out of to, to modify it or whatever. But So we're going to do a new project. We're going to call this Trainer HMI 1. I'll just be kind of. But you can come down through here and you can choose all your different uh, protocols. But we're using an Automation Direct and we are using a Productivity Ethernet. And we're going to hit OK. And it's going to pop us up and it's going to show us where our screen's at up here. So we've got an empty screen to start with. And the first thing we need is we need tags to work with from our PLC. So what we've got over here is the Productivity Series software right here. And I've written a little program. It's, it's just a little tying some inputs to some outputs. But in here I've added three specific tags. One for a red stack light, one for a yellow stack light, and one for a green stack light. And notice I put HMI at the end of those. That's because those are the tags that we're going to use in the HMI in order to turn this stack light on. Now I've got flashers on these outputs so that the stack light flashes. Flashers are something we use a lot in automation for horns if you want them to flash or, or sound at a, a certain rate instead of being on solid for lights, stack lights, uh, indicator lights on panels if you want them to flash. And in 
other brands of PLCs, Alan Bradley specifically comes to mind, you've got to write two lines of code, two rungs of ladder to make a flasher. You've got to have two separate timers and one's kind of triggered by the other. You've got to have one for your on time and one for your off time. The productivity series has made that so simple. It's actually a output coil, they call it a flasher coil, built in. And you set your time, like I've got it set at 500 milliseconds, and it comes on for 500 and goes off for 500. So half a second on, half a second off. Super, super convenient. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to export tags. And we're going to put it right there. And we're going to hit export. I had already exported this once before, but anyway, it's really fast. So now that we've got that exported, we're going to minimize it. And we're going to open the Seymour, oops, sorry, wrong one. We're going to open the Seymour software right here. And we're going to come over here to File. And we're going to go Import Tag Name Database. And we're going to bring in the P1K Export Extended, which is what I named that other one. This is Device 001. Um, in case you need to set that device up, this is where you do it. And you will whenever you first put it in. So it's device 001. And in this case, our IP address is 10.10.10.1. And we're going to hit OK. And for some reason, you got to select device 1 again. But we're going to hit Import. And it's complete. And there we have it. So we're going to do a push button with a frame right here. We're going to drag it up here and we're going to drop it. And the first one we're going to do, we're going to call it red stack light. We're going to make our font really big because we're going to try to take up some space on this screen just for just for this test. And this is a red stack light, so when it's on, I want the, the, the button to turn red. So if you look around here a little bit, you've got a lot of options. You've got different frame styles. Um, you've got whether you can, you want this to be a toggle, which we're going to use it as a toggle here. Normally in, in a actual working program, I wouldn't use the HMI to latch something on. I'd do that in the PLC and it would be a momentary button on the HMI. But just for simplification, we're going to use it as a toggle on this. So we call it Red Stack Light. Uh, and we're going to come down here. And that Red Stack Light HMI bit. Now here's one thing I don't love about their software. And there's very few things I don't. But I'm going to hit Apply right now. And when I do, it doesn't close that. It also capitalizes the entire tag just in the HMI. It doesn't change it in the PLC. But you, I would think when you hit Apply, it would close. It doesn't. You've got to hit Close separately and then hit OK. So we've got our tag, Red Stack Light, tied to that button. We've got a label on it. And it does say Off and On in there, even though right now you can't see it because I need to make the button a little bigger. But we're going to click OK. And we're going to drag that button out a little bigger so we can see the word off on there right now. And we're going to go ahead and center it. Oh, one other thing while we're in there. You can simulate your on and your off right here while you're in there so you can see what it's going to look like while it's on and while it's off. There's a lot of options. And we'll get into more of those as time goes by. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it twice. One, two. And we're going to pull it down. So the way my PLC trainer is set up, the red is on top, the yellow is in the middle. So we're going to change this to yellow. We're going to change our tag to yellow stack light HMI. We're going to hit Apply, Close, OK. I know, a lot of clicks. but And then we're going to change that one to yellow while it's on. 
just because it's pretty. And then, obviously, the last one, if I could double click, we're going to change it to green stack light. We're going to change it to this number 32 green up here, which I love. And we're going to look for green stack light HMI. Double click, apply, close, OK, and OK. So right now, We've written a program in this Seymour HMI that is going to talk to the productivity PLC inside the trainer. It is going to turn the red, the yellow, and the green stack light off. As it stands right now, the buttons won't flash like the actual stack light does. We can make that happen, and we'll get around to stuff like that later. We would have to use an indicator button for that, which is right here. And the difference between an indicator button You've got two tags. You've got a tag for what the button's going to do, and you've got a tag for what makes the button change state from off to on. Um, but we'll get to that. That'll be in a later, later video. So as it stands right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to send this to the panel. Ethernet 10.10.10.5, and we're going to hit Transfer. We'll go ahead and save the changes, which you have to. Um, we'll call it that. And it's going to send it over to the HMI right now. It's rebooting here beside me. And when it's done, we'll take a look at what it looks like on the screen and how that works with the stack light and everything else. So there we have it. Transfer OK. It's written into the, the panel and we're ready to do something with it that quick. It's, it's not that complicated. It's really not. They make it really easy. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is my PLC trainer that you guys are going to become very, very well acquainted with soon. I'll show you the inside of it at a later date and time. <clears throat> but And I'm still not quite done. I'm still mapping some of the I.O. where I want it. It's been kind of a work in progress. But it has three Automation Direct PLCs in it and an Automation Direct Seymour HMI on it. And we talked about that stack light up here on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this red stack light button and you're going to see that red stack light is flashing on and off. Half second on, half second off. Come down here, hit the yellow. Same thing. Now the yellow's flashing. And then we're going to hit green. And now the green is flashing. And I can turn them all off. And they're never going to be flashing together because the half a second starts from whenever you turn it on. So I played with it earlier when I was messing around with this. And you can get some pretty cool patterns going depending on how you push the button. But you saw how quick that was to set up. How quick it was and easy it was to get the HMI talking to the PLC. It, it's it's really simplified automation. It really has. Um, we're we're going to be getting into depth on all three of these PLCs, the productivity, the click, and the do more. Um, the click, it, it's a good PLC. It's very capable. It's address-based. It's not tag-based. I love the productivity series because it's tag-based. It's, it's just so simple, and when we get to writing some programs on, on the productivity series, it, it's, it's pretty slick. They've, they've done a really good job of, of making everything you need is there. All the COM protocols are built in. You don't have to pay extra for everything. I digress. I want to keep this video fairly short. But anyway, this is kind of an intro into the Seymour HMI. Shows you how to get it set up. I'm not sure which one we're going to do next, but we'll uh, we'll figure something out, and hopefully I can get this beast completely finished up by then, and uh, we can start doing some some pretty cool stuff. I mean, right now I think I've got the stack light. Yeah, I've got the stack light tied to a couple of buttons. I just don't remember which ones. There's the red. That's this button right down here. PLC1 input 4 is right now tied to the red stack light. You would have seen that in the program back there. And then 
PLC15 right here on the left is tied to the red stack light. And as you saw in the program earlier, I don't have anything tied to the green stack light. But I can turn them all on right there and get us a nice little light show going. I will be back soon. Y'all have a good uh, rest of your week. And uh, I look forward to, to showing you guys a little bit and hopefully learning a little bit from you. If you've got any ideas of what you want to see, throw them down in the comments. Uh, I'm trying to build this channel new. I've got another channel where I do tool reviews and whatnot, but I'm, I'm trying to build this one up as quick as I can. So please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, come on back. Uh, like I said, hopefully I can teach you something and, and I can learn something too. Nothing I do is perfect. I make mistakes all the time. And if you've got an easier way or a better way to do something I do in one of these videos, please tell me because I'm always looking to make my life a little bit easier. Take it easy, y'all.